Howdy folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. Today, we've got loose fancillitis. Mainly this top wire, but we'll see what we got here. Today I'm going to try to show you what I have found to be the fastest, cheapest way of doing this. It's kind of a special little tool that I'm fairly new to, and I love it. Well, a rancher's pickup is usually never clean. The Bible says a clean barn is a non-productive barn. This is the special little tool right here. It doesn't look like much. And I always keep one of these tubs handy because they are handy. And I just keep three hands. I just cut these up. I, don't, I didn't measure them, I guess. Just one hand, two hands, about three hands, like a spread, I guess, somewhere in there is what I do. And that's gonna fix that fence, just this little piece. Okay, what we have here, is just my fencing plier. What they call now a Texas fence stretcher. And just my little piece of barbed wire, unknown length. Just come in, I stretch it all the way open. My, I just take my, my stretcher, my little fence bender, and this one here I just bought at an antique shop. I was always going to buy one of those Texas ones, but uh, so I, what I do, right or wrong or indifferent, I just take and take the slack out with that chain. If you're seeing that correctly, yeah, there you go, you're seeing that. And there we are. Now, we have this piece here. What I do is I just kind of take this a little bit straight and I put it about a hands band, about a hands band in between there. You can see this fence, this, this wire is had better years about 20 years ago, probably. Who knows how old. I'm gonna just take the slack out of that. Just take it to the very end. Like so. Now I take my magical fencing pliers and I'm just gonna pop it through. Oh, and I took a lot out of this one. Ah, well, there it is. Just pop it through like so. And we're just gonna Take the stuffing out of it. Like I said, you can buy these brand new too. I don't know what they are. I'm sure they're a $100 bill for sure. That wire is pretty bad. It's going to not tighten it up all that much. That's tight, folks. We'll do the same thing with this one now. Because if you start at the top, usually your bottom one gets loose. So I usually just go all the way down. And we just came out of drought. Fastest way to end drought is rain. And with rain comes, comes, uh, that always feels good on your knees. That's why I do it that way comes mosquitoes the size of bald eagles. Now the reason I say that this is the cheapest way because barbed wire, especially used barbed wire, you don't want to use new barbed wire on old on old barbed wire. Um, generally speaking, it's pretty cheap. Even with our lovely president making everything the price of gold. What our lovely president is doing, folks, is trying to fence us out of our own ranches and farms. That's what he's doing. Him and the Bill Gates mobsters are out there and buying up land in North Dakota now. Sad. Sad. There we go. A little better example.
And we got this one pretty loose. How do you let us know if you like these videos? Well, one, you can like the video. Two, you can share it on your social media. Three, leave us a comment. All three of those things help us out tremendously. Thank you. Now you can see why this is so luring. Because it's easy. I don't have to splice. I don't have to do much. This takes the work out of fencing for sure. Would I do this on a brand new barbed wire fence? I don't think so. I probably would maybe do it a little better, different. Not that this is bad. I just don't see the, the magic doing it in. Well, folks, if you like these videos, please let us know in the comments below. You know, I don't do everything perfect or anything. It's just how I do things. And actually, I learn a lot from the comments. I never once thought of putting the wires on for the post, the T-post, with a screwdriver. That's something that a lot of you, you know, mentioned to me time and time again. So, uh, I guess we kind of learn together. So you should never feel sad that you maybe don't know if you did learn a trick or two. Well, I guess we all are learning. And the day you stop learning, well, it's probably the day you're dead or you have a really sad, miserable life. Folks, if you would, besides hit that thumbs up button and, and the like, I could really use your prayers. My family and I are are probably in our one of our darkest hours if you would please pray for us i would very much appreciate that and may the lord guide and keep you until next time it's luke simons happy trails